Before we get started, a huge thanks to Xreal for sponsoring Craft Computing's coverage of AWE 2023. Welcome back to Craft Computing, everyone. As always, I'm Jeff, even though I don't have a beer in my hand right now. We are here at AWE 2023, and we're about to go talk to Xreal about a new product they're bringing to market that I am particularly excited about. Now, you might not be familiar with Xreal because, well, they recently changed their name, but you do know who they used to be. They are rebranding from Nreal to Xreal. So the Nreal Air Glasses that I took a look at a couple of times on the channel are now the Xreal Air Glasses. On the plane down here, I did finally get to use the Nreal Airs on a plane, which I've been waiting to do since the pandemic started. But uh, the new product that they're coming out with, the Beam, promises to basically add some new connectivity options to the Nreal Airs, making them more of a universal product. So let's go find out some more. So we're here talking with PJ uh, of Xreal, and uh, obviously you guys are launching the Beam uh, yes. this week. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what that is and what it's going to bring to sure. the Air? Sure. Um, the whole idea is about bringing spatial display mm -hmm. to the mass market, yeah. right? So let me just talk a little bit about spatial display. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk about augmented reality technologies, one of the key components is how you are able to position a display in air, right? So there's the three dot tracking, there's a the six dot tracking, and all of that. Now, when we introduced uh, the Unreal Light, uh, the Unreal Air, uh, a couple of years back, mm -hmm. we made all of that possible. Right, but there's a separation. So all of these AR computer vision technologies could only be experienced when you are inside an AR app. Right. There is a separation between that and whatever you are doing with your phone, with your gaming console, with you know this and that. Right. So with the Unreal Air, um, you are able to only get the what we call zero DAW, or basically just the mirroring right. um, experience. Right? So the image moves with your head, mm -hmm. right? You know, you get great display quality, but it's not ideal. Right. When you're playing games, for example, like your body just moves around and you don't want the image to be moving around. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to bring AR computer vision out of an AR app and make that available to everything that you were doing, okay. right? So that's the philosophy behind uh, the, the actual beam. It's really meant to bring universal compatibility to everything you're doing personal computers, mobile phones, Steam Deck, PlayStation, Xbox, mm -hmm. or whatever have you. Okay. Right? So that's that's the big deal. Yeah. So yeah, you're bringing more devices kind of into that AR fold to, that's right. to bring that spatial vision to... That's right. Console. So yeah. so we really think spatial display is the way to go, mm -hmm. right? Because if you think about it, you know, whether you were thinking about getting a second TV for your home, mm -hmm. or if you were thinking about, you know, carrying a 50-inch monitor with you, you know, when you were traveling on the road, you know, you know, you know, actual beam is really perfect, right? So, yeah. so uh, we really want people to to get that, mm -hmm. right? I think it's just it's it's a beautiful experience, yeah. and uh, you know, the slogan that uh, you know I came up with is that it's the best TV innovation since TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I use mine all the time uh, playing with Thank my you. Steam Deck and uh, on my laptop. In yeah. fact, I was using it on the plane on the way down here. Thank you. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, you, you mentioned uh, essentially zero DOF tracking. That that is uh, the in the current pass through mode for a lot of the devices. Right. It's a static image that's locked to your head, and right, as your head right. turns, exactly. it can be a little jarring for people who don't have VR legs, that's quote right. unquote. That's right. uh, so you're saying what the beam is going to do is allow some of that spatial tracking yeah, that's right. with any device. That's right. So there are three uh, display experiences that we're shipping uh, with uh, the actual beam. Right. So the first is a three DOF. Okay. So basically, it, it, it is body anchor. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, if you're sitting down, you know, if you're sit, if you're standing up, if you just turn your head around, the image stays still. Okay. So it's like having a real TV, mm -hmm. right? Now, um, it it only moves when you get up and start walking. Then it moves with your body, right? right? It doesn't move with your head, right? So um, the second mode is what we call smooth follow, and um, the idea really came out of using our glasses when you're sitting in a moving vehicle. Because uh -huh. the car is always vibrating, right? Because the roads are never perfectly paved, right? So with zero dot, it's a little disturbing. Yeah. With, you know, with image always shaking in front of you. So what we did with smooth follow is that we used algorithm to smooth out the minor vibrations. Mm -hmm. So when you're sitting in the moving vehicle, 
you know, when the vehicle, you know, shakes up and down a little bit, the image actually stays still. Stay, stay static with, okay, that's right, that's okay, right. gotcha. And the third uh, mode is what we call side view. Mm -hmm. Side view is based on, you know, it's built on smooth follow. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, so, but what, what it's able to do is that, because when you get up and start to, I say, if you want to go to the bathroom from your living room, mm -hmm. um, even though you can see through the AR glasses, because the, because of the, the image quality and the brightness, yeah. it still interferes with your line of sight. Right, right. right. So with side view, you can shrink the display to a smaller window and move it to the side. Oh, okay. And so you can still watch the video going so, on. So more of like a Google Glass type That's experience. Right. And okay. you, but it doesn't interfere right. with your vision. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, so on the Beam, what uh, what input options are we looking at? Are, are you doing HDMI? Is it is it still just DisplayPort Alt? Is it? Yeah, uh, you know, we are going to ship two cables with it. Okay. Uh, one is a C to C with video output. Mm -hmm. Another is HDMI to C with uh, video output. Okay. The, these cables are not that easy to find, and that's why <laughs> right. we thought we make them. Yeah. Uh, so that our customers can just get them easily. Yeah. Right? So. Um, with the pre-order, which started about two hours ago, uh, <laughs> we're going to include the CDC cable for free. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. No, and and that's that's always been one of the more difficult things to to recommend the the airs. Right. Is, uh, and you could say you know VR glasses and AR glasses in general is the requirement of USB-C with DisplayPort Alt mode, That's which right. is not a ubiquitous protocol right. yet. Exactly. And uh, yeah, so opening up a new market and new devices to be able to right. connect, that's fantastic. So in, in addition to the two cables, uh, the actual beam can connect with your phone wirelessly. Oh, nice. Right. So uh, in the phase one roll, rollout, the wireless connectivity cannot support DRM streaming yet, but it can do everything else. So if you okay. want to go on TikTok, mm -hmm. if you want to watch you, YouTube videos, mm -hmm. and all, all of that is fine. But the wireless connectivity is not going to be able to support, a, say, Netflix or HBO Max right. yet. Right. Uh, hopefully, in the next the six to eight weeks, we're going to push out uh, uh, an update okay. that will allow uh, DRM streaming uh, in the wireless mode. Okay. Now, with the with the wired connection, the benefit is reduced latency. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you want to hook it up with your Steam Deck mm -hmm. or Nintendo Switch, right. we always recommend. The wired connection. Of course, right? of course. Now, with the wired connection also supports DRM streaming. Okay. Right. So yeah. yeah, that's that's the key difference. Excellent. Now, with the wireless from your phone, uh, are you going to bring the the whole Nebula app experience? So your whole AR experience, uh, or, is, or are we talking just video at this point? Um, we're talking about just a spatial display as a AR mirroring experience okay, for gotcha, now. Gotcha. Uh, we have thought about what you said. <laughs> You know, can we mirror the Nebula experience into right. it? I can't tell you too much. Right. right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we've touched on that topic. Yeah. I, I have ideas <laughs> if you want to talk off camera. I'm totally cool about that. <laughs> uh, lastly, let's go ahead and talk about the, the Nebula for desktop. Yeah. Uh, because uh, obviously you guys brought up the beta for Mac uh, about, what, two, three months ago? Yeah. And uh, I know you were just now launching the, the beta for Windows, or is that out yet? Uh, the beta for Windows, uh, we did a test run okay. uh, within the uh, Unreal or the Xreal community. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really for the benefit of soliciting feedback uh, mm -hmm. from the early adopters. It was great. I mean, it was yeah. a good you know turn turn turnout, and we were able to get a lot of feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, we are. I think the first thing we're going to do is to uh, introduce an, an update on the Mac version okay. to include support for for Intel chips. Okay. Now it only supports M1 M2 chips. Right. So, right. Um, we're gonna do that first, and then I think Windows is gonna come out, you know, a little later. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Uh, one more thing I, I wanted to ask you about is uh, on on PC gaming. So yeah. so your Steam Deck, your your desktop hardware. Uh, have you guys put any thought into possibly sporting like side by side 3D? Uh, because there are wrappers for for DirectX and Vulkan and things like that, and I feel that might be able to give a you know, wider dimension of, of using that spatial display, giving it, you know, a value add over just a large screen. Is that something you guys are looking at or <laughs> have looked at? You're really asking me to say things I'm not supposed to say, <laughs> but, uh, which means you're... Well, that's my job. Which means you're really good at what you do. <laughs> um, that's all in the making. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you know, you're absolutely right. I mean, our vision doesn't really stop at just, a, you know, bringing a 3 off. Mm -hmm. uh, sort of a you know display experience. We're an AR technology company. Yeah. We have a lot in our bag, you know, in mm -hmm. terms of uh, you know uh, supporting you know truly native AR experiences and this mm -hmm. and that. I think one of the biggest challenge for us yeah. is that uh, we always have to keep on reminding ourselves that, that our job is to ship 
experience, right? Not to ship technology, mm -hmm. right? So sometimes it gets very difficult to hold yourself down and be like, I'm yes. only gonna, you know, I'm not gonna include that, you know? Like, right. It's so, it's really about trade-offs, yeah. right? So we're not gonna stop mm -hmm. with just a three-dot visual experience. We're gonna, of course, we're gonna go out and do everything we can to build a holistic, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what we call AR desktop okay. experience to enable everything that we can. But the, I guess the devil is in the trade-offs, mm -hmm. right? You know, exactly. Where, where you put your development exactly. time, what are, exactly. what are the, the priorities That's for right. your That's customer right. base. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. No, thank you for having me here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this has been great. So Awesome. Thank you. So once again, a huge thanks to Xreal for having us out here at AWE 2023. We'll probably do at least one more video while we're here on the show floor. We've been walking around all day and have quite a few really cool things to show with you all. Anyway, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to Craft Computing, and as always, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.